The second pre-release for Minecraft 1.20, the Trails and Tales update is out with a long list of bug fixes. My name is Sliced Lime, I'm here with all the news for you. Let's start with gameplay. A very old bug with dispensers has been fixed, so boats no longer get stuck in the dispenser they were dispensed from. Rideable entities that are steered by holding an item no longer die after climbing down a ladder far enough. And speaking of ladders, the specific death messages about falling off of climbable blocks now work once again. There's now also a proper translation for being killed by the kill command while fighting someone. A bug where you could sometimes fall through scaffolding when loading into a world has been fixed. Shields now once again block the damage from TNT explosions. Skulk sensors now properly detect minecarts. The two tall flowers no longer let the power of bookshelves connect with an enchanting table. Loot tables changed in the previous version so they would give the same result in each dimension. That is fixed in this version so each loot table now has a unique sequence regardless of which dimension they are evaluated in. Horse armor with data, like a custom name, no longer lose that data when equipped onto a horse by right clicking while holding it. And speaking of names, you can now remove the custom name from an item by blanking out the name in an anvil. That gives it back its original name, but it currently will not stack with an entirely unnamed item of the same type. If you quit while fighting the Ender Dragon, the dragon would respawn when you load it back in. That is fixed in this version. Some sniffer fixes! The heads of baby sniffers are no longer smaller on the first frame of their existence. Baby sniffers now also stop closer to players when being tempted. Sniffers no longer sniff while they are in love and moving towards their partner. In user interface news, you can now double click entries in the language menu to switch to that language. Parts of beds no longer show through the sub recipe selector in the recipe book. The compact potion user interface now works properly with the programmer art resource pack. In the settings, keybinds now once again show up as uppercase, and the text now fades away close to the border of the screen once again. The text cursor now once again renders in front of text rather than behind it, and a long list of small tweaks has been made to text strings throughout the user interface. The creative inventory has also seen some updates with the buckets of fish now listed in the same order as the fish items, and dead corals now listed in the same order as live corals. Wither roses can now be found next to the other small flowers, and mangrove roots and muddy mangrove roots are now grouped with the logs rather than with the leaves. A visual fix in this version as well. Some random skylight could be found underwater where it shouldn't be, which is fixed in this version. In technical news, let's start with command fixes. When the cursor is at a place where a command is complete but could also accept more input, you'll now get syntax completion rather than an error message. Single quotation marks are now supported just like double quotation marks when writing NBT paths. The execute if loaded test now properly tests for entities being loaded, and the data modify command now gives a proper error message and result if it fails because the string indices it was given are out of bounds. The command block user interface now closes if someone destroys the command block you are editing, and the recipe book no longer breaks if you grant all recipes every tick. Changing the owner field of a projectile now properly changes the way that projectile behaves, which would previously require saving and reloading the world. Chiseled bookshelves now rotate properly when placed by structure blocks with rotations. And in recipe news, smithing recipes now support Minecraft colon air being specified as an ingredient, which makes the recipe work when there is nothing in that slot. In performance and stability news, a crash has been fixed that would happen if bees pollinated torch flower crops. An optimization has been made for the way commands run when used from functions, and the game will now display a message box instead of crashing, if the narrator functionality is enabled but not available on the computer the game runs on. And that's it for Minecraft 1.20 pre-release 2. My name is Slice Slime, thank you for watching, I'll see you next time.